In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HBr. This is potassium carbonate plus hydrobromic acid. So let's start out and balance the equation, balance the molecular equation. So this is our molecular equation. We have two potassium atoms and just one here. So let's put a two in front of the KBr, balances the potassium atoms. Now we have two bromines. So let's put a two over here and that balances the equation. So this is our balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, potassium compounds are very soluble. So this is gonna be AQ for aqueous. It's gonna dissolve in water. It's a little bit more challenging with this HBr. Here we're gonna call it aqueous. So we'll just put an AQ here. For potassium bromide, we have a potassium compound again, so that's going to be aqueous. That's going to be dissolved and dissociated into its ions. We know carbon dioxide is gas, and we know that water, that is a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Potassium is in group one on the periodic table. That's going to be one plus, and then the carbonate, the whole thing, two minus. So we'll have two potassium ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's write those at the end. Plus, we have our carbonate ion, that CO3, 2 minus. Hydrogen, that's in group 1 on the periodic table. That's 1 plus. And then the bromine here, that's going to be the bromide ion, 1 minus. So we have two hydrogen ions. And we also have two bromide ions, 2 Br minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said plus and then minus, so two potassium ions, just like in the reactants, plus two bromide ions, the Br minus. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split gases apart and we don't split liquids apart. So we'll just have plus CO2 plus H2O. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're gonna cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So we have our reactants up here and these are our products. So I can see in the reactants, I have two potassium ions and in the products, those are spectator ions, we'll cross those out. And then two bromide ions right here. And again, in the products, spectator ions, cross them out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HBr. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for potassium carbonate and hydrobromic acid. Often you'll see the positive ions first. So let's just put those over here. doesn't really matter. just looks a little nicer. And you'll note that if you count the atoms up, they're all balanced. And the charge is balanced as well. 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. So the 2 plus and the 2 minus, that gives us a net charge of 0. These are all neutral net charge of 0. So that's the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HBr. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.